So we've done WinForms, we've done WPF, we've done UWP. We found that we could deploy UWP to the Xbox, but only UWP. Everything else basically fails when we try to run it on the Xbox. Let's now go to the fourth technology we'll be looking at for desktop development from Microsoft that's available on Visual Studio, WinUI. Before we do that, we clean up our workspace. And we create a folder where this is gonna be located. Now, WinUI is supposed to be the UWP evolution that allows for that set of technologies to play in the same sandbox as standard.net. It's supposed to be the new way of building Windows, and we're told that this technology is what Microsoft used to build the Windows 11 shell. And this may very well be true, but know that WinUI is not just C Sharp, but also the underlying um, SDKs and COM libraries that are all written in C++. And while those underlying technologies may have all the bells and whistles by virtue of being the native language that the technology works in, the view presented to users via the Visual Studio Project template is one that leverages C Sharp and XAML. Unfortunately, that view is sorely lacking in terms of polish at this time. On top of this, from what I can tell, this technology does not yet include a path for deploying applications to the Xbox during development. So even if it were possible to publish your app to the Windows Store as an Xbox app, there would be no way for you to test to ensure that the functionality is correct. Let's see how it all works. So it's really this easy to create a WinUI project, build it, and I will set it as a startup project and let's run this guy. And there we have it. We have a simple UI pro WinUI project ready to go. So this is touted as, again, being able to play well with all the .NETs that are out there. So let's go into the properties and see how it's set up. Right now, the target framework is set to .NET 6.0. So it seems to actually work with .NET, but it does have this supported and target operating system properties, which I'm not sure how those would work. The cool thing is that it also has the ability to enable WinForms for the project and enable WPF for the project. So it seems to consolidate everything together. Let's start by changing the .NET framework to 8.0, which is the version that we would like to use. I'm building that. Once we change that, the problems begin. I change it back to 6.0. Everything works. So let's see if modifying this guy will help in any way. This now works. And continues to build. Can I switch this to 
works. And works. So uh, we know at least that .NET 7 works. <laughs> and then let's try .NET 8. No, .NET 8 definitely does not work. So can it reference a, um, a .NET library? So let's add a project to reference library. It seems to be working, but I've got the, the caution <laughs> marker on it. Will it build? No, it will not build. But there's likely a reason for that. It's probably not building because this has been built with .NET 8. So let's switch it down to .NET 7. Build that. And look at that. So one amazing thing with this is that I am getting XAML. Um, and um, I am getting this modern UI, uh, but it seem, I seem to be able to add libraries, at least .NET 7 libraries. Um, basically, you're locked into .NET 7 right now. So I'm going to transport some XAML verbatim from here. to here. Let's change that into a grid. Actually, I'm gonna take the whole dang thing. Why stop? Let's take the whole dang thing. Notice that with UWP, you're dealing with pages, and with um, WinUI, you're dealing with um, with windows so a little bit different there we have access to windowing uh, with um with win ui so of course if we do this we're gonna have to go down here and make sure that that working does the double click work no and do you know why the double click does not work because there is no WYSIWYG designer for it. So since that's not available, we are going to be using that. And we are going to be using this. Okay. So in here, We got an event handler, and we should be able to access the reference library. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Got increment. Not since WPF have I been able to do this. <laughs> this is done. But again, remember, you know, one thing to remember here is that you know this kind of looks cool and we can say it looks cool and all that but this is not designed to be this universal platform right this is windows technology that we're using right now so this is designed for desktop for windows um, i i'm not sure if this will work across multiple form factors of windows um, and xbox is windows behind the scenes Looks like it's using the reference library. Now let's see if we can use WinForms and WPF. So we'll first drop down both WinForms. I'll drop down WPF to .NET 7.
that means they have to drop down one phone to the .NET 7 as well. And that means I have to change the collection expression that I have somewhere up in here. Where is it? There we go. Actually, here's a new, a cool new thing you can do if you love the new features of C Sharp 12, but are stuck in .NET 7. There we go. And now WPF build as well. And so in our WinUI application, should be able to reference it. All right, so that doesn't seem to work, so we can't reference WPF applications. Let's see if enabling WPF and WinForms will help. So what about publishing to the Windows Store? Right now we see that the WinUI project comes with a package manifest, which has a lot of the same capabilities that we've become accustomed to. However, there's really no option to publish directly to the Windows Store. So we have to use the same app packaging solution that the other native Windows desktop technologies have been using thus far. So following the same mechanism that basically has worked everywhere else, uh, for whatever reason, doesn't work here. Uh, there's a package manifest, but you can't publish, right? There's no ability to publish uh, to the Windows Store. It's the regular folder-based publishing. Publishing requires the WinUI project, which I can use to associate with a store or do whatever I want. However, I can't seem to natively build with this. You get all these, these errors, seven errors. So honestly, I'm sure that there are solutions to many of these problems uh, that we're seeing here. But for my part, this is this technology is just not prime time. I don't really understand what the value proposition is at this point. And I don't understand why, if you're going to be doing desktop development, you wouldn't just use WPF, uh, you know, and if you're going to be doing package solutions that you need to deploy to Xbox and all these things, then why not just use UWP? The value proposition of UWP, even though it's being uh, deprecated, the value proposition is that it's this universal way of deploying 
applications within the Windows ecosystem that spans numerous devices, not just the Windows desktop, but also the Surface Hub, the HoloLens, maybe at some point in the future, some Windows-based device or something of the sort, or yeah, Windows-based mobile device or something like that. Um, I think there was a Surface Neo and there was a version of Windows that was going to run all those things before it was um, once again um, sidelined. So that's the value proposition of UWP. So if you're not using UWP and you're not going universal, then what's the point of WinUI? I can just create a WPF application and I can use the Windows app packaging tool today and I can deploy my application to the Windows Store. I can set it up such that it's full screen. I can make it invisible. I can do all the normal things that are the features and capabilities of a Windows-based application. And I can also leverage all the knowledge that I've gathered from years and years of doing Windows-based development. All the books, all the training, all the tutorials, all the learnings, all the references can all be used. Going with WinUI, the resounding uh, question is, what is the value proposition? What am I getting from this? Why should I use a limited version of Windows desktop development to build Windows desktops? And you can see clearly from here that it's just not worth the trouble. It's just not worth the trouble at this point. Uh, we can revisit it next year with .NET 9 and C Sharp 13 and see um, where it's gotten. But right now, nobody is going to be building any kind of, nobody should be building any kind of serious applications using this technology unless you really want to claw your eyes out. Again, anytime I start seeing things like this, I'm just like, bruh, wh what are we doing here? So I would strongly advise you not to use this technology, and I absolutely would not be using this technology to build anything. Uh, no way. No way at all. Stay tuned to this channel for future updates. We'll be giving away two, you heard it, two Surface laptops when we hit 50,000 subscribers. So please like, share, subscribe to help us get to that point. Happy coding and have a blessed day.